hey guys welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to be showing you how i got this champagne blonde how i turned it from barbie blonde to ooh girl ooh girl blonde the champagne blonde look yes I'll be showing you guys how we got this dirty blonde look hmm. because you know what I feel like this color can be worn on any skin tone that's what's so good about it I feel like this looks like Barbie doll hair I feel like if you are walking out of the house with this Barbie doll hair I'm gonna stare <laughs> stare <laughs> Girl, this is not what you... Okay, so I'm using my favorite products. As you all know, it's Shay ZQ. I'm going in with a 6NB. And I'm going to add equal amounts of the 7N, equal amounts of the processing solution, equal amounts of the clear. Okay, so this is the blonde that I'm going to remove a little bit more of the yellow out. I'm going to use a streaking highlighting cap. You can purchase from your local beauty supply store also if you want to see my rooting videos i have them on here you can click the link above i'm going to pull hair out from each one of the holes that are circled because i do want to go in quite a bit to um, tone down some of this uh, yellow blonde okay so here is all the hair that i'm going to apply i've already mixed all of my solution i'm just going to go over all of the hair and apply this this is going to low light it and make it darker so that it'll appear to have you know dimension it makes it look so much better and appealing to me making sure you saturate the entire strands of hair that you have pulled through the cap so that everything will process properly. Okay, so after it processes, you will see it changing and you can look at it. You want to keep your eye on it because you don't want it to get too dark. With Shazy Q, it just keeps on working. So I'm going to stop it about here. You can see it where it was laying on that blonde and it was perfect and ready to rinse out. Okay, so I'm going to remove the cap. It should slide off easy since I have product on here and the hair is really short. So now I'm going to rinse it, but I'm not going to rinse it totally out. I'm going to rinse it and massage some of the existing product on there and let it process because that's going to help remove a lot of the yellow as well. You probably see me do something similar like this on previous videos. So I'm going to you know lather that up i'm gonna let it sit and i'm gonna watch it for a couple minutes and then i'll rinse it okay so this is something i like to do as well i'm just putting some of the existing product on top and blending that down throughout and i'll let that sit for a couple minutes okay so now it is complete it's giving me a uh, champagne vibes i love the dirty blonde outcome all we need to do now is style it Okay, so I'm going to be using my side irons from Shay's Tour. You can purchase them from ShannyNaturalBeauty.com. And when I tell you guys these flat irons are everything, I really mean it. And I am not usually, like, taking away from, like, flat irons that I'm used to using. I will stick with the same flat iron for years, but I think that they convinced me to switch over. So... The thing that I like most about these flat irons is when I slid them down the shaft of this hair, I loved how sleek it was. It almost felt like I used some type of serum on it. And usually, you know, that is the case. But with these, I just used a light spray, the number nine by Kenra that I always use. But with these flat irons, it gave it a very uh, sleek feel. And I'm just blown away because I never really switch up my tools.
ball cap on and I'm ready to apply my wig. What I want to show you, I've probably already shown you this in other videos. This lace that I'm about to put on is too light. I like my blonde though. The lace is definitely white. So we're going to have to tint it. I'm going to use my caramel. Okay, so when I'm using uh, lace tint on lighter hair, I don't like to spray it on. And I think I've told you guys this before, but I'm just reiterating it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spray it on the brush and then I'm just going to... So I'm just going to spray it on here. And then I will go in here and brush it on. I'm only going to do the front. I'm not going to do, even though it's a full lace wig, I'm not going to do the whole thing. I didn't spray a lot because I don't want it like super wet, you know. So I'm going to let y'all see this part that I already did because I don't want to do it too much because the more I use, the darker it'll be. So you can already see it blending. Okay, I'm going to do it a little bit more and let it dry. You can let it air dry. I like to use cool air. I feel like sometimes if you use hot air, it can turn it white. use both of them it just totally depends because I have I don't have oily skin and I don't plan on doing a lot of activities so I'm just going to use our boho extreme and what you can do is we do sell the empty gliders on the website you can fill them up so that it's just easy for you to apply uh, also if you're going to be using the active we do sell it in the five ounce so that you can fill it up as well Make sure you're always using thin layers, guys. I don't care what you've seen, I don't care what you heard, but the glue needs to dry properly. And this will give you the ultimate hole and the ultimate end results that you're looking for while using our product. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply it exactly where I applied the glue. Please make sure that you don't leave any glue exposed because if you do, guys, you're gonna get gummy glue in front of your lace. Making sure you line it up properly. That is key. Okay, so I'm just taking my comb and because I am very, very particular about leaving my glue in front of my lace, I'm just gonna take the end of a rat tail comb and I'm gonna place a small amount of glue right where the lace is because I did not want to take a risk Okay, so this lace, this is a thicker lace. This is Swiss lace. And I really don't mind it because it lasts longer than the HD. It just depends on what kind of look you're going for. But this, these will last longer because the lace is thicker. It's a little bit more noticeable, especially in person. But if you customize it properly, you... Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe below.